Do you want to find more Chinese students for your online ESL classes? The Chinese market is one of the biggest online learning markets worldwide, but it can be really difficult to break into if you don't speak Chinese and you're not familiar with Chinese social media platforms. Today, I'm super excited to share with you an amazing tool you can use to automatically generate using AI, artificial intelligence, content for you to post on Chinese social media to draw in more higher paying students for your classes. Hi everyone, I'm Katie and I help online teachers like you find more students online through Chinese social media and grow your online teaching business. If that sounds like you, don't forget to subscribe for more great tutorial videos, free webinars and other great content to help you boost your student base. You can also check out the description, we've got loads of great links to the tools we've been talking about today and other great resources you can use such as our free Facebook group, our free Chinese social media platforms guide and interactive online curriculums for your independent online ESL teaching. So I was chatting to James Liu, founder of the 21 Day Teacher Entrepreneur Challenge the other day about how we can use AI to generate content for your website or social media posts to promote your classes. But we were really struggling to get it to create stuff in other languages. Now I've cracked the code, I found the secrets that you need to get ChatGPT to create content for you in Chinese that's well optimized for posting on Chinese social media. And wow, what it came up with has totally blown my mind. You are gonna be amazed. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some top tips for it to generate content for you in Chinese that's been well optimized and is gonna help draw in more higher paying students through Xiangshu and other social media platforms. So the very first step is simply coming up with ideas. I asked ChatGPT to come up with 10 post ideas for my niche. My niche is middle school students who want to study science abroad at a top UK university. So these are the first 10 ideas it came up with, and I'm wearing these are pretty decent ideas already. But one really key thing to remember when you're creating content to promote your classes is your target audience. If you're targeting kids, your, your customer is the parent, not the student, because the parent is one with a credit card who's buying classes. So I went back to chat GBT and said, oops, I actually made a mistake. What I really want you to do is come up with 10 post ideas for parents who've got middle school kids who want to study science abroad. And this is the list it came up with. And I had to admit, I was really impressed. Some of these are ideas I hadn't even thought of myself and they would definitely help reach my target audience. Okay, so I just wanna jump in and share some top tips for using ChatGPT to come up with content ideas in the first place. Firstly, be really specific with what you're asking for. So that brings me to my second tip, make sure you really clearly state your niche and your target customer's goals. Your customer may be the parent rather than the student, be aware of that. Okay, tip number three, ask for it to give you a whole list of suggestions, not just one idea. That way you can pick out your favorites and save the others to come back to you later. And my final tip, don't be afraid to ask it to rephrase things or come up with new ideas if it's not quite what you're looking for. Okay, so we've come up with our post ideas. Next thing we need to do is actually write the content and we want to write this content in Chinese. I know you're thinking, oh no, I don't speak Chinese, what do I do? In the past, what people were doing is writing the post in English, going across to something like Google Translate, translating it into Chinese and then putting that as their Xiangshu post. However, the issue with this is if you're using a translation tool, it's gonna to use similar sentence structures and phrasing to how we do it in English and it might sound a little bit clunky therefore when it's been put into Chinese. Now, if you're using an AI, it's gonna be writing in Chinese from the start and therefore it's already gonna be written in a Chinese sounding way. So I picked out the first post suggestion from earlier that Xiang Shu gave me, which is about uh, the importance of planning early to study abroad. I asked ChatGPT to write me a post of the top five benefits of early planning for your science study abroad journey. I also already had a few ideas myself. I figured that if you start planning early, it's easier to apply for scholarships and also make sure you're gonna do well in the entrance exams. So I gave it those suggestions to start with. Let's see what ChatGPT came up with. So here we go, here is my post and you see it's written in Chinese and it's got five key reasons why you should start planning early for your study abroad journey. Now, I know you don't speak Chinese, don't worry, let's just put this into Google Translate to see what it's come up with. And these are some really great ideas, right? So firstly, more opportunities for scholarships. Secondly, more time to prepare for university entrance exams. Thirdly, more time to choose the ideal university. Fourthly, better English language preparation. And finally, the fifth point, less stress and pressure during the application process. So these are some really great tips that would definitely appeal to my target audience. However, I thought that it worded things a little bit too formally, um, whereas I like to take quite a conversation in a more casual tone. So I asked it to rephrase it in a more casual way. I also suggested that it should add a rhetorical question at the beginning to be a hook to draw in my target audience. So here we go, another slightly better well-written post that is sharing these same insights for parents. Okay, the next important part of the post is the post title. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with five suggestions of post titles that would grab my audience's attention. Out of these five titles, I think I prefer the middle one the best. It's saying your science study abroad journey starts with early planning. 
Okay, next I want to really make sure my post is well optimized for the algorithm. And a really important part of that is of course, hashtags. So I asked ChatGPT to suggest for me 10 hashtags that I could use for this post. Now Weebly actually came up with 20 ideas. I don't know why it did this, but here we go. 20 niche hashtags I can use for this particular post. Okay, now another really important part of your post is the call to action at the end. Your call to action is basically what you're gonna ask people who read the post to do next. Sometimes this is to engage with the post, you want them to like or comment, and sometimes it's gonna be leading down the next step of your customer journey, which could be to reach out to you to get your freebie, which is then gonna get them onto your WeChat, so then you can start talking about classes. So in this case, that's what I want them to do. I want them to comment below with some kind of keyword for me to then reach out to them and send them a guide to the top 10 universities for studying science in the UK. Now the first option that I came up with, I personally thought was a little bit too long and quite formal. So I asked it to rephrase it in a simple one sentence and more friendly sounding call to action. And I came up with this and I have to admit, I was really impressed that this is really well written. It's clearly telling people what they need to do next. Um, and it's nice and short and friendly. Okay, so let me show you some top tips for using ChatGPT to generate the post content. Firstly, you want to ask it to write in Chinese. Your target audience are Chinese speaking people. If you write in English, the algorithm is just going to recommend your content to other English speaking people, which is not your target audience. If you write in Chinese, then it's going to reach Chinese speakers. If you write in Chinese, they're more likely to click and engage well with the post as well. Secondly, if you've got some initial ideas already for the content, make sure you mention those in your initial message and ChatGPT will incorporate those ideas into its post. Thirdly, don't be afraid to ask ChatGPT to rephrase things in your preferred tone uh, if it's not quite how you like it. For me, I like things to be quite friendly and therefore I ask it to rephrase things in a more friendly tone. I finally ask it to create these key things too to help you better optimize your post to reach more people and to have better engagement. Firstly, you want a strong catchy title. Secondly, you want a rhetorical question or some other kind of hook to draw people in in the first paragraph. Thirdly, you want niche hashtags that are gonna help you reach your target audience. And finally, you want a strong call to action at the end, getting them to engage well or reach out to you for some kind of freebie that's gonna take them on the next step of your customer onboarding journey. Okay, so we've created our post, fantastic. The next thing I want to do is share my awesome post with my audience. Not only am I gonna post on Xiaohongshu, but I also want to share my Xiaohongshu post onto my WeChat to get my WeChat followers to click through and engage with that content. This is really helpful for the algorithm because for the algorithm, if you have lots of engagement with your target audience in the first 24 hours of posting, it's gonna push that content out to more people. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a WeChat message that would help me promote this post to my WeChat followers. And this is what it came up with. However, I'm noticing a bit of a trend here. It still stated things quite formally and it almost sounded a bit salesy, which is a bit odd for promoting a social media post. I therefore asked it to rephrase it in a way that was more friendly and more casual. And this is our final message. I think it was great. I really like this and I used that to then promote this post. Okay, so today we've learned how to use ChatGPT to create an awesome Xiaoxiu post that's been well optimized for the algorithm and it's gonna really draw people in for your target audience. Now you're probably wondering, Katie, did you actually do this? Well, yes, I did. Now, if you want to know how this post did, you're gonna to have to wait a little bit. So excited to get this post out to you. I started filming this video literally 10 minutes after posting and therefore it hasn't really had time to gain momentum just yet. So if you'd like to know, don't forget to follow and I'll share an update in a week or so as to how things went. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and check out the links below in the description for everything we've been talking about today and some other great resources you can use to help you grow your online teaching business. I'll see you next time.